Hi guys, it's Marika from Milton Public Library, uh, back with you for a new month, so a new group of um, books from a different genre. This month, I'm. it's a little bit wider. Um, we'll be doing mystery, uh, adventure, and horror. So um, I felt like November was good for that because November's getting darker and cooler and I just feel like, I know Halloween's in October, but I kind of feel like November's a little bit creepier of a month. So um, today I'm going to start with um, Midnight on Strange Street. This is by K.E. Olmsby. Um, this is a new book. So in this book, it is about a group of four friends from Callaway, Texas, and they are all glowboarders. So glowboarding is like skateboarding, but it uses this mysterious substance that just showed up about 50 years ago. Um, and so you kind of like hover. So it's almost like a hoverboard, but obviously from the picture, it glows. Um, so they are trying to win um, the global globoarding competition, um, all while there is a war going on. So this book is actually really interesting because it could go into a lot of different categories. Um, so it's action and it's mystery and it's sci-fi um, and it's a, also a really great story about friendship. So this is Midnight on Strange Street by K.E. Ormsby. So, the next book I would like to talk about is called Dow Bones, and this is by Holly Black. This book is about three friends, Zach, Poppy, and Alice, who um, have been playing this thing called The Game uh, for years. So this is an imaginary game that takes place in a world that's populated by pirates, thieves, mermaids, and warriors. Um, and it's all led by this queen um, who's a bone china doll who's imprinted in imprisoned in the cabinet. Um, so when Zach's dad forces him to quit playing childish pretend games uh, and start playing basketball, Zach lies to the girls about why he's quitting and it kind of um, puts like a damper on their friendship. Um, so when Poppy starts having these dreams about the queen and a ghost girl um, who will not rest until the bone china doll is buried in her empty grave. She goes to the other two and brings them all together for one last epic um, adventure. Um, so as the trio sets off on this last adventure, um, really creepy things start to happen and they really start to wonder if this doll is just a doll. So this is a really eerie book about growing up, giving up childish adventures and friendship. So that is Doll Bones by Holly Black. So the next book that I wanna talk about today is called All the Grays on Green Street. This book is by Laura Tucker. So this book takes place in 1981 um, in Soho, New York. Now Soho is an art district of New York. Everyone who lives there is an artist or works for an artist or has something to do with art. It's just how it is. So Olympia lives there with her parents and she is 12 years old. Her dad and her dad's um, partner uh, get antique paintings and restore them back to new and her mother is um, a sculptor of little intricate 
sculptures. Um, so Olympia is also an artist and her and her friend Alex and Richard, friends Alex and Richard, are pretty much just left to wander the streets of New York and she just goes around and just draws whatever she sees that seems to be interesting to her. So when her dad mysteriously disappears and leaves a note that says destroy after reading, she gets very concerned. And then when her mother slips into a really, really deep depression, she starts getting really scared that she don't, she doesn't know what would happen to her if her mom had to return back to the hospital now that her father is gone. On top of that, everyone around her is also acting really, really strange. They get these strange phone calls, and um, her friends are acting weird. Her one friend just keeps talking about some stranger that he sees on the street. Um, so this is a book about her trying to find her dad to try to figure out her life and then she can worry about everything else. But first she must find her dad. So this is a really sad story um, about the hardships that come with having mental illness and loving someone who also has a mental illness. Um, but then also the awesomeness of having an outlet for your fears and frustrations um, that happen in life. So this is All the Grays on Green Street and this is by Laura Tucker. The next book I am going to talk about is by Beth McMullen and it is Mrs. Smith's Spy School for Girls. Um, after, so um, Abigail is sent to a boarding school, which she does not want to go to and she hates. And so she tries to escape. But after trying to escape, she discovers that the school is not what it seems, that it's actually a cover for this really um, elite spy ring called the center. And at the center of the center is her mother, who is the top spy agent. But when her mother goes missing, um, Abigail has to um, find her. So before she can do that, she has to pass Spy School 101 so that then she can um, go on to fi finish her biggest mission ever, Operation find mom. So this is a really fun action packed um, mystery adventure. It kind of has everything in it. Um, and it also happens to be a series. So there are multiple books in this. And fun fact, just because it says girls does not mean only girls will enjoy this book. Boys will also really enjoy this book. Um, and there's nothing wrong with reading a book that says for girls. So that is Mrs. Smith's Spy School for Girls, and that is by Beth McMullen. The last book um, that I have for you guys today is a scary book. So this book is called Small Spaces, and this is by Katherine Arden. This book is about Ollie. Uh, she is an 11 year old girl and she finds this really distraught, um, disheveled woman crying by the river, threatening to throw this book into it. So without thinking, Ollie decides that she is going to snatch the book and run away, which she does. So um, upon reading it, she just becomes like entranced by this book and just wants to read more and know more about this story called Small Spaces. So the next day, there's a school field trip to this farm. And when she gets to this farm, she realizes not only is the farm owned by the woman that she stole the book from, but the farm seems to be the same setting as the book and also has a little graveyard that has um, name stakes for the people in the book. So she's a bit concerned by that, but the day goes as planned and, you know, so, but on the bus ride home, the bus breaks down and the kids have to make their way back to the farm to get help. But the teacher becomes, is just, 
suddenly disappears and they're left with this bus driver who's really weird. Ollie thinks he's like the weirdest bus driver that um, she's ever seen. So after finding out that the teacher has disappeared, the bus driver turns around and says, well, best get moving at nightfall. They'll come for the rest of you. So that's kind of scary. So Ollie and two of our classmates decide that they are gonna heed this warning and they are going to find safety and get out of this place. Um, so together they witness some pretty horrifying events and they try to save themselves by doing what she's read in the book so far, following along with these small spaces. So this is a really creepy yet fascinating book. So give this book a try only if you don't mind being scared because it is a scary book. So that is Small Spaces and that is by Katherine Arden. So there you have my book recommendations for this week and this new month. I hope that um, one or multiple of them piqued your interest and made you want to read some. So I'll see you again next week. Bye.